Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Puro Astrology, where we talk all about astrology. I'm your host and astrologer, Denise. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this question, query, comment that I get. And I often get this from either a very uh, Saturnian Capricorn person who has no time for bullshit or a Sagittarius person who loves freedom more than anything else. And the question, the query, the comment is, Denise, astrology is so limiting. That's why I don't like it. I don't want to be constrained by my natal chart. My signs don't mean anything. I need to be free to ascend, to evolve, to do the things that I need to do. And I, my friends, am a Sagittarius too. So I understand that things could feel limiting, but whenever I hear that comment, all that I want to say is just like, Hey, like you just don't know enough astrology because astrology really shows us that our chart, our natal chart is really alive. So even though our natal chart is a picture of the sky at the very moment we were born, the sky keeps moving. So it's kind of like a movie in itself. And we just have a very small picture, right? Which is our natal chart. But as things keep moving and evolving, so does our chart. We have a progress chart we have um we have solar returns we have very different things within our chart that keep moving and evolving we have the transiting planets right the transiting planets as they move along in the houses as they move and meet the planets in our natal chart they cause things to come about so really your natal chart isn't and doesn't have to be limiting because it keeps moving and evolving and as that happens so do you, right? As your chart progresses, your progress chart, you are changing and you are growing into different parts of yourself. And this is why whenever I hear that question it makes me excited. I want to explain. I want to say, yes, I hear you. I would never use astrology in a way that's limiting. I am a Sagittarius stellium. If I felt and I knew that astrology limited me, I would not use it because I'm just, a, I'm also a Capricorn. I'm a very practical person. If something doesn't serve a purpose in my life, I will dispose of it. So the reason why I do not think astrology is limiting is because I've studied it enough to know that the chart doesn't stop right there. Your natal chart, what you were given, that's not your whole story. Things continue to evolve and move and change and grow. There is a path for you. There's a path for your sun. There's a path for your rising, for your chart ruler. And as you grow and develop and you learn to give meaning to the things that happen to you and maybe perhaps tie those things back to your chart, you get to understand yourself better. And if you learn more astrology, you also get to see that there are periods and cycles in your life that are going to be ultimately for your development, because that's the whole purpose of life. So what do you guys have to say about that? Do you have any questions, comments? What do you think? Have you ever felt limited by your chart? I know that when I found out that I was a Capricorn rising while being a Sagittarius, to me, it felt like a death sentence to my Sagittarius nature. I was like, not only does that explain why I am not like this happy-go-lucky Sagittarius person, why I am not as outgoing as the average non-Capricorn Sagittarius person, but as I learned more and more astrology and as I grew up and I um, developed, not only does astrology not have to be limiting, it really shouldn't be limiting. If you are finding that you feel constrained by your natal chart, then take a step back and, you know, put it away for a little bit. Or as I said, I invite you to learn more astrology. I have a bunch of free videos on this channel. If you'd like to learn more specific things about how to develop and grow into your sun, for example, I'm going to be making videos about that soon. But if you haven't already gotten the vibe from me, I like to use astrology for personal development. I do not really like to use it very much to predict things in a very like black and white sort of way because I'm a Sagittarius and I like to feel that life is an adventure and that there is no limits to the things that I can accomplish and the things that I will get to see, right? I'm also an American, <laughs> that's probably why. Thank you so much for being here. For those of you who have stuck around with me, waiting for me to make videos again, thank you. You're my astro friends, my astro buddies, my astro raza, for those of you who speak Spanish in the back. Um, I have a lot of videos planned. I just hadn't set up my office in a way that like I felt 
like was good and I, I don't know why I'm such a Virgo about things. Virgos will know. Virgos will still see the mistakes, but Virgos, please know that I tried my best because I wanted to come into my office because I used to use another room in the house and now I want to be like back here so I can shut the door and be over here like a hermit doing my work. So I hope you guys like it. If you have any suggestions for my background, I always welcome suggestions about absolutely everything actually. So thanks so much for being here. I love you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.